Hi kids. Okay, this is lesson 16 and it's all word problems. So um, I want you guys to have the maximum amount of time uh, to solve the stuff that you can do. So I'm going to set them up for you, but you will have to solve. You should know how to add, subtract, multiply, and divide. So let's just set them up together. Mr. Fry distributed $126 equally among his four children for their weekly allowance. How generous. How much money did each child receive? So you take your total, $126, and divide it among the four children. Now, remember, when we're dividing, every now and then you might have to annex a decimal and a zero just in case your division continues on, okay? Now, as you solve this and complete your work, your answer will be thirty-one fifty. Now, since you're going to take this and work with this, I wanted to give you the answer, but you still need to show all your division, and I know you guys can do that. Um, now, John, the oldest child, paid his siblings to do his chores. He must be a teenager. If John pays his allowance equally to his brother and two sisters, that makes three people, how much money will each of his siblings have received in all. Okay, so John's like, I don't want to do the chores. You take my money. So if each child was going to receive the 3150, but we have to split it three ways, then first you would need to take your 3150 and divide that by three. Okay, so do that work to find out the additional amount, I'm abbreviating, per child. Then I want you to take this additional amount and you're going to combine it with the 3150 that they would already get. Okay? So that's what you do. You got to divide what each child would receive by the three because they're going to split that amount and then add that to get the total. On to number two. All right. We have some comparative questions. Ava is 23 centimeters taller than Olivia, and Olivia is half the height of Lucas. If Lucas is one and 78 hundredths meters tall, how tall are Ava and Olivia? Look at the amounts here. We've got centimeters and meters. That's like red flag. Express their heights in centimeters. Okay, so we're going to work with just the same measurement um, all the way through. I always like to either convert. I like to convert at the beginning. That's just me. Some people will convert at the end. That can be you. does not matter. But let's make a couple of tape diagrams. And since we're talking about height, let's turn our tape diagrams uh, so that they're vertical. So if I have Ava, and she is 23 centimeters taller than Olivia, and so Olivia is the unknown, and Olivia is half the height of Lucas, then, oops, that's not quite the same. But let's pretend that that's perfect. And here's Lucas. He is going to be double Olivia, okay? Because Olivia is half the height of Lucas, so Lucas is twice what Olivia is. Now, oh, AOL, that's funny. Okay, if Lucas, sorry, is 1 and 78 hundredths meters, then this amount here is 1 and 78 hundredths meters. But I need centimeters, okay? So you're going to need to do a calculation here, and this goes back to King Henry died unexpectedly drinking chocolate milk. And this is the units to centimeters, okay? That's a hop of two place value positions. So we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, and we're going to have to uh, multiply by 100, okay? And you're going to end up with 
178 centimeters. Now back to Ava. She's 23 centimeters taller than Olivia. So whatever Olivia is, she is plus 23. Okay, so we need to figure this out. If Lucas is this tall, how tall are Ava and Olivia express their height? Sorry, I'm going back. So let's take a look at how to figure this out. I've got my 178 for Lucas, but I need half of that. So we're not gonna multiply by fractions yet. We're going to divide the 178 centimeters and cut it in half, okay? Now, if you didn't convert yet, you would be dividing 1.78 by two, and then you would convert your answer, but we already changed it. So you go ahead and do this. When you find out your answer to this, it will be 89 centimeters. And if that's Olivia's height, because that's half, so once you put these little pictures together, it makes it really clear. Now for Ava's height, you need to add those two to figure it out. Um, let's see, anything else? How tall are Ava and Olivia? Um, in order to combine, you're gonna need to add these two heights. So you have to find out Ava's height and Olivia's height, and then make sure you label it in centimeters. I think we've got everything uh, done for that one. So for the next page, we have ooh, Mr. Hauer and his computer. Okay, he's got a down payment of this much, and this is a one-time payment. Okay, um, then you're going to take the rest of what he owes and divide it by the eight monthly payments. Okay, or this is eight monthly payments of this. So we're gonna multiply that by eight. So take your $35.75, and we're gonna to have to do that eight times so that you can find out the amount that he will have to pay on top of the 510. So uh, the total cost, you're gonna take this from here, and you're gonna add it to the $510 down payment. This one up here, add it to the 510. Now that's going to give you your final amount of $796, which is on the payment plan. So why do you need to have this answer? Because you need to compare it to the cost of paying cash. So you have to find the difference between the payment plan amount and the cash payment amount. And that's a subtraction problem with some large nines. You cannot flip it around. Do your regrouping. If there's nobody here, go next door, okay? and then uh, compare those amounts and label your answer with words. All right, onward to the nuts problem, the nutty problem, I love nuts. Okay, cashews and pistachios, yum. He mixed these uh, nuts all together for a mixture. So first you're going to have the six and 83 hundredths pounds of cashews and then the three and 57 hundredths pound of pistachios and you're going to combine those together to get the total amount in uh, the whole mixture. Okay, and I feel like I need to give this an answer to you guys, but I really don't want to. So do that real quick. Then you're going to take this and it's important that, um, okay, well we'll just solve it together. 10 and then eight and one is nine and five is 14 decimal down six seven eight nine ten there it is gave it away all right so we have our 1040 oops sorry pounds see how important it is to label 10 and 40 hundreds pounds and we also have to consider that there is a remainder okay so we're going to um take off the remainder. Why? Because we're not going to divide that 
after filling up six bags that were the same size with the mixture. He has 35 hundredths of a pound left. So take that away so that you have the whole amount to divide. And we'll just do this also so that you can get to the next part. You have to do regrouping, zero, zero. Where'd you get this? Well, you came over here. Uh, drop your, <coughs> so sorry, <coughs> actually. See, I'm in a hurry to leave, can you tell? There we go. So, borrowed from here, didn't need to regroup. You end up with 10.05 left to divide. Rough day, Mrs. Sitness. Okay, uh, take your 10.05, and that's gonna be divided by the six bags. Make that darker. And then you're gonna take this amount from each bag, and that is your final answer. So I've already done a lot of the work for you. Um, it says use a tape diagram and show your calculations. These are the calculations, so let me show you a quick tape diagram. If I have these two types of nuts here, I've got my 6.83 and then the 3.57. I don't care that they're not the same size. It really doesn't matter that much. Okay, so sure, you want to make this one bigger, this one smaller. Doesn't matter, we're putting it together in a tape diagram. The whole amount is your 10 and 40 hundredths pounds. Okay, these are all pounds, 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 pounds. And then, if you look at the 10 and 40 hundredths pounds, there's a little bit extra. That's the 0 0.35. Okay, so this amount is not being divided. This amount is being divided. So let me take this out of here so I can start dividing it. This is going to become six bags. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is the extra. And so that is what it would look like as a tape diagram. The extra is not considered in the six bags but divide to find out how much is in each bag. All right, moving on. These are so much work. Okay, many, many steps. Uh, the bakery bought four bags of flour containing 3.5 kilograms each. Uh, 475 hundredths kilograms of flour is needed to make a batch, one batch, of muffins and 6,500 kilograms is needed to make a loaf of bread, a loaf of bread. However, four batches of muffins and five loaves of bread are baked, so how much flour will be left? And again, this is, you can use a tape diagram to kind of break up the muffins, break up the bread, and then have the leftover amount. So let's start by setting it up. 3.5 uh, times four to find the total amount. Let's do that one together. 20, 14 kilograms. Always go back and check your amount because sometimes it's pounds and sometimes it's kilograms. Sometimes it's other things. So this is the total amount with the four bags of that. Okay, need to know how much. Now, the four batches of muffins how much do you need to make muffins? You need 475 thousandths kilograms for the muffins. Okay, and I'm making four of them. So you wanna multiply that. Then you have um, five, blah, 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 five loaves of bread. Okay, and that is 6,500 kilogram times five. And that's for the bread, for bread. All my abbreviations everywhere. Okay, so you're gonna have an answer here and an answer here. Nope, not Siri. Siri's always talking back. Uh, so you're gonna have an answer for each of these for all the batches of muffins and the batches of bread. Uh, you're gonna put those together. Uh, let's do muffins first because that's what I wrote down. And that's going to be four, okay, for the total of. 
And then in addition to that, we're going to have five, one, two, three, four, five. And this is going to be the bread. Okay, and you have a total for that. And then you have your um, blah, 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 da, 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 leftover amount. Okay, so the final question here is how much flour will be left over? That's the mystery amount. So that's what you want to find out. Find out what you use for this and for this. Add those together. Okay, and then you're going to take your 14 and subtract whatever your answer is. Okay, so good luck with that one. Finally, the remaining flour, and I'm just going to tell you right now, it's 8.85 kilograms, just so we can do this problem here, is stored in bins that hold 3 kilograms each. How many bins will be needed to store the flour? So explain your answer. You're going to take your 8 and 85 hundredths kilograms, and you're going to divide that into... The, by three kilograms each. Decimal up. Do your division. When you get your answer, I want you to remember you can only use a whole bin. Okay, you're not going to cut it all apart. So, what would your answer be? You might need to round it. So think about that. And good luck with all this work. It might take a few extra minutes to do the calculations, but I know you got this. See you soon.